This is part two of my series on what's new in the current channel in October 2024. We're going to have a quick look at Python. Now I'm a bit of a fraud on Python. It's not a language I know, so I'm really demoing some techniques here. I haven't got around to learning Python properly yet. It's on the list. But I just wanted to show you, show it to you because it's it's pretty cool. So under the formulas tab, there's insert Python. Okay, you can click on it or you can do equals py, open the bracket. Uh, and then you can start writing formulas in here if you know what you're doing. Okay, so you can go, you can pull the data into a, a data frame or whatever like that. You can reference the table. Okay, you can press, uh, oh, sorry, click the tick, not press enter or control enter, not enter. Uh, and here is a Python data frame. Okay, you can click on it and it should show you a bit of what is in it. And you can start doing stuff with that data using Python. Okay, it's using Anaconda. Um, all right, so what do you want to do? Well, I want to do some sentiment analysis, and I don't know how to do that. So I am actually going to screenshot a little bit of this table. Okay, here we go. Just screenshot a bit of that. Just use some fake data, never upload real data. I've got a, a GPT, the Access Analytic Excel Python Assistant. Click on this button. I'll upload an image. Okay, paste the image in. All right. There we go. It's doing a quick bit of analysis. Uh, let's say, okay, the table is called TBL Feedback. I want to create a word cloud and sentiment analysis chart. Okay, let's see what it does. So it's writing some code for me. Now my problem is, and I wouldn't trust it, you know, to do this without actually reading through the code step by step and understanding what each word part does. You know, I have asked it in my GPT to explain the steps, but I would have to go and understand this. But now I've copied it. Let's go back in, go back into my formula bar, paste this, control E or click the tick. It might get it wrong. Okay, so it's found these errors. Okay, so this is the reality of it. I do not know why those errors are there. So again, screenshot them. Go back in. You could ask it to explain to me why they're the errors, but just for this purpose, I'm gonna see if it can fix it just by sending that screenshot. Okay, so missing libraries. It's gonna import the various libraries we need. It's still writing the code. Lovely, copy code. And there may be totally invalid or unnecessary code in there. So it's like using a macro recorder, not really knowing what the VBA is, okay? So come back in here, control A, control V, uh, control enter to commit it. Let's see if this works this time. Okay, and then we can right click and we can say display plot over cells. Looking promising. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we've got some distributions of the different words. Okay, it's not really a word cloud though, so I could go back in, give it some more prompts, etc. But you get the idea, all right? I did another one here where I just did the same thing. I asked it to suggest to me in ChatGPT, suggest a good visualization and see the distribution of products and colors. Pretty cool. All right, let's try one more. I have not, I honestly have not tried this. Um, so let's give this a go. Um, okay, I have a table in it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's go copy code. Let's see if this works. Let's go back in. Probably got to edit this a little bit. Okay, so uh, we go insert, oh, so we go formulas, insert Python, 
paste that code in. Let's have a little look at it. It's probably got some wrong. So that's called category where this needs to be probably department. Okay, let's just change that. I'm just guessing. Name equals month. That'll be the unpivoted column name, I would imagine, like attribute in Power Query. Okay, let's have a look. All right, data frame. And I can say up here, I actually want to see the Excel values. There we go. We've just unpivoted it. Let me know what you think. Catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.